can you really claim trauma? I mean, after all, you weren't at the site, Ground Zero, were you? Maybe you were, maybe you're watching. I do have a lot of East Coast friends. Maybe you didn't even live in the state of New York. Maybe you're saying, okay, yeah, that aside, but I'm not a first responder. I mean, I've never been in the military. Um, I've never seen combat. I'm not a, I'm not a policeman. I'm not a fireman. Um, my kid never had cancer. I can't claim trauma. Come on. And yet, 100% of the time, when I coach people in life and in business, I, I tell them, we're going to spend two hours together. And they ask, why? I'm like, because I know you have trauma. And they're like, what? okay, whatever, crazy lady. And then we dive in, and I'm like, there it is. And then they backpedal. No, 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 no. I'm like, listen, you're paying me, so we're going to work this through. And the thing is, is trauma is categorized in our culture, much like sin is. I'm not gonna dive into that, but you guys know what I mean. You know, like this is harder than this. I would have people look me straight in the face when Zion had cancer and I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have a kid going through cancer, so I know this isn't, this isn't that bad. And at the time I was ignorant, I didn't know what to say, except for I'm like, yeah, but your stuff is your stuff, so, why are we playing this game? Why are we doing this comparison nonsense, like tit for tat, like, oh, you know, yours is worse. I'm like, we could do that all day long and it serves no purpose. But when we look inside and we have our eyes on our own paper, we begin to realize, oh, maybe I can't grow my business because someone spoke something over me. And I allowed them to make me feel unworthy that was really hurtful and then on and on and even right now as I give that story some of you are like that's not trauma here's what I'm going to tell you get a pen write this down you don't get to choose I'll say it again for those in the back you do not get the right to choose what's trauma in your brain and your body and what's not guess what does right here. You don't get to choose because the subconscious mind, right? You have your, your thinking mind, your, your mind where you're like cognizant of what's going on. You can reason, yada, yada. Then you have your subconscious and your subconscious receives whatever you give it. And here's what I know about the brain. <clears throat> your brain has to, in a split second, categorize. Your body is designed to survive. God's an amazing designer. And so if you experience something, maybe you and I experience the same event, right? As a situation. I'll just say a situation. My body might go, oh yeah, because I've had a kid with cancer, because I've held a dead baby in my arms, because my child was born with her organs outside her body, my body is like, my mind, really my, my subconscious and my body might go, Oh, yeah, that sucks, um, but it doesn't affect me because I've had, in my mind, I've already processed this, so my mind is like, yeah, but remember, Jen, you survived this, so we can get through this. We know what oils to use. We know how to brain dump. We know how to journal. We know how to brain detox. It's We're good, right? Like, we walk through it. If you are somebody who does not have those tools and we witness the same event, we experience the same event, your mind is like, holy shit, what is going on? Okay, fight or flight, I don't know what to do. And you shut it down if you don't have the tools, right? Because you shut it down and you have to survive. That shutting down is what creates trauma. That fight or flight, if there's nothing to actually fight, or run away from physically, like a, a moving car, an actual fist fight, your brain has to go, ah, I'm just gonna run away from the situation, I'm just gonna shove it down and never, 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 never think about it again. 
except for we're also designed to be free people, to live in peace, to have harmony within ourselves. And so when we do that, trauma. This is how the body recognizes it. If you've experienced any kind of physical ailment, uh, thyroid issues, gut issues, on and on, I could just go on and on, back pain, hip issues, I guarantee, I bet my paycheck on the fact that there is trapped trauma in there somewhere. I was just having a conversation with my, uh, my oldest daughter. We we're talking about her sleep patterns. I said, yeah, you know, da 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 da. Uh, you probably have trauma, very likely some PTSD, you know, it's developed. And she stopped, she goes, what makes you think I have PTSD? I said, babe, you had me as a mom. I was a horrible mom, like really bad, yelling at you guys over stupid stuff, shoes left over the floor, yelling at a little girl, a four-year-old, that's messed up. Then your brother had cancer, so we were so hyper-focused on him, you were just neglected. Then you had a sister who had her organs born outside her body, and my daughter told me actually a couple years ago, maybe a year ago now, she's like, yeah, mom, it was so hurtful. I don't know why you kept leaving us every day to go see this baby that you didn't even know. So in her little, let me see, how old was she? She would have been nine at that point. Her little nine-year-old mind, reason that is neglect, that her already crazy mom was now neglecting her. Trauma. Sound familiar to anybody? So, you don't get to choose what is actual trauma. Your brain does. And now you're going, beautiful, how do I know? I don't know. I really don't. There, well, I do, actually, that was a lie. <laughs> Let me rewind. I do, and then it's like, yeah, but you might start to reason with me. So I'll tell you what I know, and then you decide for yourself. Here's what I do know. I feel like that Jeff Fox really, you might have trauma if, da, 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 okay, I'm being silly now. There might be some trauma, possibly some PTSD, if you respond in a completely unreasonable way to a current situation, right? We can categorize what's reasonable, what's unreasonable. The shoe example. My children, my two little children, right? Leaving shoes everywhere. Well, actually at that time I had four. Um, the, the response of freaking out and yelling at everybody, nobody helps me and blah, 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 and just yelling is an unreasonable response. Would you all agree? And don't even come at me with like, yeah, but kids and it's frustrating. I know it's frustrating. I got news for you. I now have five, my 18 year old still does stuff that I'm like, dude, that is so triggering. Could you please not? Kids are kids. Children are gonna be children. They're going to make a mess. Our response is, hey, for the thousandth time, would you kindly pick up your shoes? Understanding, being able to sit there and say, okay, there we are. This is the situation. Okay, let me give you another example. Business. One of your members, a customer of yours, um, a coworker, says something that's hurtful. You completely spiral. And then you stop doing Facebook Live videos. Because after all, someone told you that you swore too much when you said the name God or Jesus. That's a true story that actually happened to moi. It was hurtful. And I was triggered, right? And so I just, my response was, that's it. I'm not talking about this stuff anymore. Forget it, forget it. That's an unreasonable response. One comment, now I'm throwing the whole thing away. Do you see what I'm saying? That's trauma. That trauma, in case you're like, how does that even connect as you process through? So my trauma, the trauma I had at that moment, was growing up with a family that thought everything I did was complete and utter crap. They made fun of me for how tall I was. They made fun of me for how thin I was. Like, hey, that's so messed up, right? So always, always, it was never good enough. And so when I get a comment that's ugly, it was like, ooh, and it was just, you know, one too many comments. I'm done. I'm out. Peace out, people. I'm going to go work at Whole Foods 
or the Duncan. That's unreasonable, wouldn't you say? So you see what I mean. Now, I'm not discounting the response or how it makes you feel, but then we stop and we say, okay, this is making me feel a ways that is not, it's not matching with the situation. It's just one comment, someone who doesn't know my content, doesn't know my background, doesn't know how much I super love Jesus and that I believe that words are words and it's what you ascribe to them. Someone doesn't know that and that's okay. So I can reasonably just go, you know what? I'm gonna put on some release, breathe in, breathe out, peace and love be with you and off I go on to my next mission. See how reasonable that is? So what if we spend our days understanding and recognizing triggers and then acknowledging, you know what, there's trauma. Bummer. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's do it together. Let's lock arms. Let's stop categorizing everyone's stuff like again, we do with sin and just love each other. Seek to understand. Seek to understand your own mind, your own body, how you process stuff. Rather than stuffing it down because that's what you're taught. I'll give you one more example. This is gonna rock your world, you ready? If you've been in my Essentially Free course, you guys are like, oh, here she goes with this, this uh, example, but it's true. If you've had a child or you've watched other people who have children, okay, they fall down and their first response is to go, what does mom think? They do this, it's science. They do this because their limbic system is not fully developed till about the age of two or three, depending on the child. Mine, I don't know if my daughter has still, she's so attached to me. So because they're connected with their mama, for nine months, whether you have adopted children or not, they're still connected. So you have to create that bond if even more if you have an adopted child. We can talk about that another date. Actually, I have somebody better, well-versed in that. Um, so they wanna know from you, am I okay? This is gonna mess some of you up, I promise you. Am I okay? They look to mom, not dad, mom. Am I okay? Mom says, yay, you're okay, don't cry. They just fell down and got hurt. This baby is like, it hurts like hell, but yeah, okay. So what do we teach our child? I did it and my kids totally laugh. There's a story about my husband and it's his story to tell, not mine. <laughs> my daughter, anyway, I'll, I, I won't tell you. In any case, my kids are like, yeah, mom, you did that. And now when they fall, we're like, dude, I'm so sorry. Come on, let it out. Scream your head off. That must have hurt like hell. They get it out. They get the trauma out. You guys know I'm right with that, right? The next time your kid falls, don't clap and be like, yay, you're okay. They're not okay. Now you have just taught them, stuff it. I'm not telling it, Mark Weir. Um, you've taught them to stuff it like you were taught. How'd that work out for you? Now, when you have an emotional response that re tears come, you're getting upset and you're like, okay, okay, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Why the hell not? Get that shit out. If you stuff it and you do this with the tears that God designed our body to do, Get it up and out because you're embarrassed or somebody was telling you you shouldn't cry? That's stupid. Trauma. I'll leave you with this. Don't let someone else dictate what is true trauma. Let's have a conversation. What if you and I just chatted offline just for a few minutes back and forth? Like, Jen, is this trauma? I don't know. We'll talk about it. Let's dialogue. And if it is, and you use essential oils, I can help you. And if, it's not, if it is, and you don't use essential oils, I can help you with that too. And I'm not saying, oh, you need to buy my oils. What I'm saying is my techniques, the tips that I have for you, you don't have to use essential oils for them. So don't be turned off and say, oh, I don't wanna use oils. It's cool. I actually teach people to release trauma without using essential oils. Shh, don't tell anyone. The thing is, is it goes a whole hell of a lot faster and it stays.
that's okay. If you don't want it to stay and stick, we can keep working. No worries. Have a wonderful day, everyone.